as I record this, it's early July here in the Pacific Northwest, and it's hot. Is the housing market in Olympia, Washington also on fire? I'll break it down for you in my June 2024 housing market update. Hi, I'm Realtor Scott Tompkins right here in beautiful Olympia, Washington, and here are my key takeaways about the real estate market in Thurston County for June 2024. We had about 100 fewer listings come to market in June than we had last month. This is also down 11.7% from last year. Our number of active listings is up by about 36% from this month last year. Pending sales were down about 6% from June 2023, and closed sales were also down about 8%. At this time last year, our inventory was about one month of supply. This year, we're at just over one and a half months of supply. This means it would take just over a month and a half to sell all the available homes, which still indicates a lack of supply. For June, our mix of financing saw some changes. Just over 50% of buyers used conventional financing, about 23% used VA loans, 10% used FHA financing, and about 15% paid all cash. Homes spent 23 days on the market before sellers accepted an offer, in line with last month's 22 days. Last year, it was 20 days. Homes in June sold for right around the asking price, about the same as a month ago. This month, we're down about a percent from last year. Our median price for June was $510,000. This is the fourth month in a row that this price has been flat at $510K. Remember that the median price means that half the homes sold for more than this, and half sold for less. This is up 2.8% from last year. The average sales price comes in at about $558,000, up about 3.1% from last year. Northwest MLS is validating their data regarding multiple offers, so I do not have a figure for you in this category this month. But I do know about half of sellers agreed to some type of seller concessions, such as contributing toward the buyer's closing costs. One important data point I'm reporting for the first time this month is the number of sellers who needed to reduce their asking price. Although we are technically in a seller's market, over one in five sellers needed to drop their list price in order to sell. My take? I'm seeing an interesting mix of data. Although we're around 10 years into what's technically a seller's market, I'm intrigued to see that about half of sellers again offered some type of concession to buyers, such as contributing to buyers' closing costs and over one in five sellers needed to do a price reduction in order to sell their home. Why would sellers need to do a price reduction, especially coupled with seller concessions? They're overpriced, buyer demand is softening, or maybe buyers are just being a little more picky. This is not the ultra competitive market of a couple years ago. Sellers, you owe it to yourselves to price your home realistically and have it absolutely dialed in before going to market. Buyers, keep your eye on the prize by focusing on your must-haves and deal breakers when I set up your property search. I'd also take a close look at homes that have been on the market about a month and have not had a price reduction. It's probably coming and this could spell opportunity for you. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel and if you or anyone in your world has real estate questions, I'm just a text message away. Thanks for watching and happy house hunting!